So the University of Texas here in Austin professors will now be fired for violating campus sexual misconduct policies. It's a change students spent months pushing for, but some say this step is it's a step in the right direction, but it still falls short. Uh, several months, students have been leading uh, protests and demands calling for UT President Gregory Finvez to get tough on professors and school employees well, that violate the code of conduct. Months of student-led demands resulting in change at UT Austin today. The university president, Greg Fenves, announcing major updates to the school's sexual misconduct policies. I can even just remember the countless hours of sleep that we lost over this, and so the fact that all that work was worth it was very uh, empowering. Now professors investigated by UT and found to have committed sexual assault, harassment, stalking, or interpersonal violence will be fired. That story there from uh, KI News. What a what a novel idea, University. Uh, uh, you do an investigation and then you fire somebody because they sexually assaulted a student or a co-worker. And now you're going to... Uh, why is this not... How, how come this hasn't been happening since day one? Yeah, that's this that's is so bizarre. In, in any workplace, you'd be fired if you sexually assaulted a coworker mm -hmm. or a customer. And students are customers. Yeah, they pay to go there, yeah. or somebody pays to go or there. Their parents, or somebody's paying, right? So they're customers. How is this even an issue? This, this is, and and you made this announcement to protect the students from professors uh, a week after you uh, got the money to hire new cops to keep the students safe. Mm -hmm. This is weird to me, man. Well, and, you know, people have been pro – students have been protesting this for a long, long time. But you're right. The fact that this hasn't always been the case. I mean, tenure shouldn't shouldn't make you above the law. No! The change comes after students protested in the classrooms of professors accused of sexual misconduct. They were back on campus teaching undergraduates, um, and the university had done nothing about it. While many say the new policy is a step in the right direction, some worry it still falls short. The policy states if a university employee is kept on staff after engaging in sexual misconduct, students will be informed about the mitigating factors that allowed the educator to stay. Now, I, I like the idea of firing them after the investigation is complete and it's determined that they did do what they're accused of. Yeah. Uh, maybe putting them on leave while the investigation is ongoing. Uh, but uh, but but just firing somebody because they're accused of it, that's wrong. Well, it's reactionary and, you know, there there is an issue of due process there. I Absolutely. mean, just because one person says doesn't make it truth. Get to the bottom of it, prove it, yeah. and then oust that person rightfully. Well, here's what uh, some of these students have to say talking with KITV. I'm just really curious to know what those things are that would be more important to keep somebody on the payroll and as a professor than the safety of the students that are in the classrooms and that are paying to be here. At least knowing which professors to avoid on campus is like a step in the right direction for my personal safety. While students say they welcome the new policies, they also know their work isn't done. Sexual harassment and sexual misconduct is a huge problem on this campus and if I can't trust that the professors that I'm sitting in their class with are safe for me then how do I know that the university is going to take action if a student perpetrates this against another student. Melanie Torrey, CBS Austin News. All right, 652 jump in here at 512-836-0590. Pretty interesting story. A lot of parents are concerned about safety of their kids on campus uh, primarily doing with the homeless issue. Yeah. Uh, and now this. Yeah, and, and you know, UT released a list uh, late last year, early this year, of I think 17 employees, who, but they only did so because they were under such intense, pre intense pressure and public information requests had to be filed. Yeah. The fact that, you know, they aren't as transparent, I think, has really angered a lot of people. 